So, I am hoping to get this video done before Jackson comes back inside, my husband comes back inside, and it's all interruption city here. Um, so I am doing Thanksgiving leftovers. Um, so I am making shepherd's pie, so turkey shepherd's pie with my Thanksgiving leftovers. So, I'm going to show you all my ingredients. I have this light turned out right now. Um, here in a few minutes, once I show you my ingredients, I'm going to tilt the camera down so hopefully you guys can see the bowl um, and all that stuff. And I'm going to turn this light on. Uh, the reason I have it out right now is because it's right here and it's very bright. And when I try to film this part of this video, it's just way super bright. So anyway, uh, let me show you. So I've got mashed potatoes that I'm going to kind of re um, put some milk and stuff in them and kind of get them a little more loose than what they are. I've got lots of turkey here. I also have a bag of leftover turkey meat here. I have some leftover gravy. And I also have green bean casserole leftover. Um, the reason I'm using the green bean casserole is it's going to add the creamy um, effect to the sauce because I don't have a whole lot of the um, gravy left. But I also have this giant can of cream of mushroom just in case I need it. I'm hoping I don't need to use it. I'm hoping just adding a little bit of milk to the green bean casserole will help cream that up a little bit too and make it a little more loose. I do have some chicken broth too. Um, if I'm not sure if I'm going to use that. And then the only other thing, oh, two things. Some French's onions, just a little bit of leftover in here. It's probably like just a half a cup. Um, and then I'm going to use some mixed frozen vegetables. So, I already preheated my oven to 350 and I am going to pause this video, tilt my camera, and hopefully get you guys a good view of what's actually going on here. So, okay guys, I'm hoping this is a decent angle here um, for this. I'm not going to use all of this turkey meat that I have. I'm going to use quite a bit of it. Um, but Jackson has been eating the turkey meat and I know he's not going to eat it in a shepherd's pie. So I'm going to save a little bit out for him for dinner tonight and probably dinner again tomorrow um, just because he is really enjoying the turkey. So let's see here. So I've got my, whoop, I've got my tub of turkey here and I'm just going to pick out some pieces here. This is just all little bits of turkey and I'm going to chop it up here. Probably all I'm going to take out of this bag. Well, let's see. That's a big piece of dark meat right there. That's a good one. A couple little pieces here. Okay, and then so we've got the turkey legs are still in here for my husband because he likes those. And then there's a big chunk of white meat in here for Jackson. Um, but I do have this bag also. I'm going to kind of dig into this bag too. Now this bag has a lot of the bits of turkey that were kind of left in the pan kind of thing going on in here. So I'm just going to pull out some of this. There we go. So that's probably good. That's probably a decent amount of turkey for this. So I'm just going to do a rough chop on all of this. I'm just going to kind of Ooh, don't have any room here. We're going to move this to the side and just take our knife and chop it up into bite-sized pieces here. So, roughly about half an inch size. So I'm going to continue this and I will come back and show you guys the next step. Okay guys. So I've got all of my turkey chopped up and in, in this bowl here, and I want to show you guys the pan that I'm using. So I'm using this very large casserole baking dish. Um, I just want to show that to you guys so you know about the size that this is going to make. Um, so yeah, so here's all my turkey chopped up. The next thing, really, the next steps are really just kind of whatever you choose to do. Um, I'm actually going to take the green bean casserole, I think. So, huge thing of green bean casserole. Probably not going to use all of this. I might use about half of it. I'm going to get a big spoon here. Get a spoon out. We're going to spoon about half this into 
into this pan or this bowl. There we go. And we're going to mix this up. And I'm probably going to end up adding some milk into this part. And I think I am going to add some of the um, the can of cream of mushroom. So, as you can see, I've got that kind of mixed up in there. I'm going to open this can now really quickly here. I'm also going to grab the milk from the refrigerator. So, I'm just using 2% milk. You can use whatever um, milk you want. Of course, you know, whole milk is creamier than 2%. 2% is what we have on hand. So, I'm gonna pop this lid out of here. Okay. So, because I want to reuse, I'm not going to use this whole can and I want to use what's going to be left in here for something else. I'm not going to use this, this spoon. A regular teaspoon here and I'm just gonna I really don't even need the spoon I'm just gonna pour maybe uh, three quarters of a cup and I'm gonna do about a quarter cup of milk as you can see, I'm not actually measuring anything. I'm just kind of eyeballing it, but that's about a quarter cup. I'm gonna mix this together as much as I can in here. Okay, so now it's super creamy in here. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's hard for me to see on this camera here. Um, I'm going to add some vegetables in. So, I've got, we've opened this already. And used this probably, I don't know, maybe half a cup of vegetables in here. I'm probably only going to do maybe half of what's left in here. This has carrots in it. I am not a huge carrot fan um, as far as cooked car carrots go. Um, it also has green beans in it. There's already green beans in this from the green bean casserole. The only thing I'm really wanting out of here is the peas um, and yeah maybe the corn um, but I don't have peas and I don't have corn separate so this is what I have on hand so this is what I'm using and this is what a lot of people would use anyway um, so I'm gonna use about half of this in here so I'm gonna add a little tiny hole that we've decided to put in this bag there we go that's probably good and just give that a stir just for some extra vegetables okay all nice and mixed up so here's where I am deciding on this uh, this is the leftover turkey gravy from Thanksgiving I don't think I'm gonna use this I think I've used enough um, of the soup in here that it's going to be creamy enough without having to use this and this is going to add more salt that I don't really need especially since my husband has high blood pressure it's just better to go with less in this circumstance so the next thing I'm going to do is kind of cream these mashed potatoes back up um, actually before I show you that I'm going to go ahead and spread the this mixture into this pan here so go ahead and get this into the pan. It looks like a lot, but it's a big pan. Okay. And I'm just going to spread it out in here. Nice and even. big chunk of frozen carrots in here <laughs> but that's all right they'll cook down they'll loosen up okay so 
this is nice and spread out in here nice and in a nice even layer um, don't mind my fingers I promise my family is the only people that are eating this so anyway um, so yeah so I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna wash this bowl and then I'm gonna show you how I kind of cream the mashed potatoes back up so I can spread them nice in this pan the only other ingredient that I didn't show you guys um, that I'm gonna be using is shredded cheddar cheese so I'm gonna grab that and I will be right back okay guys so I'm back with my clean bowl and I'm gonna show you the mashed potatoes now so this is just a huge container this was the only container I had that I was big enough to save these in um, but anyway this is uh, mashed potatoes from Thanksgiving and they're a little dry now because they've been in the refrigerator so we're gonna scoop these out into this bowl and we are going to make it so they're not dry <clears throat> so the first thing I'm gonna do is add some milk um, let's see I'm gonna do maybe about half a cup of milk and then these potatoes already have a ton of butter in them but we are going to do more butter we're not going to do this whole stick though we're going to do about half a stick of butter so i'm just going to cut that in half and i'm actually going to warm it up in the microwave. So I put it in this little microwave safe dish. I'm going to put it in the microwave. I'm going to do 10 seconds on one side and 10 seconds on the other side. It should be nice and warm. While that's doing that, I'm not going to break these potatoes up. Here. Of course, once these get warm, they'll get a little creamier. But I'm going to try to make them as spreadable as possible. Sorry about the noise. As spreadable as possible um, for the top of our shepherd's pie. So mix this. Mix the milk in here pretty well, and it's already starting to get a little creamier, of course, than what it was. So, I know it's hard for you guys to see, so that's still really dry. See, it's still a little crumbly. So I'm trying to butter and nail is nice and soft. And I'm trying to make this so you guys can see a little better. Well. Might be making it worse. Oh, get in there. There we go. All right, I'm going to mix that in now. Okay. This is going to take quite a bit of mixing. I'm actually going to add, there's probably another half a cup of milk left in this container so I'm gonna go ahead and just dump that in there um, I'm gonna mix this up really quick and then I will be back with the next step okay guys so now we're gonna spread our potatoes on top of our turkey mixture here so we are just gonna dump this whole bowl in here don't mind if there's any lumps of butter that's all gonna melt and kind of melt into the dish here so you don't have to worry about mixing it too much I'm not like those cooking shows on TV where they leave a whole ton of stuff in the bowl. That drives me crazy. And I know it's just, I know it's because they are on TV, you know, timing and all that. But, so I'm just going to take these mashed potatoes and just smooth them into the corners here. Smooth it all around. Trying to get every bit of the turkey covered here. A little corner over here. Let's turn this whole pan around. It makes it easier for me. There we go. Spread it on out. 
nice and even. Again, don't mind my fingers. Gotta get all that extra off the spoon. Okay. Now, now that we've got our turkeys in there, potatoes are on there, the next step is the cheese. So I've got a little bit of shredded cheese left in this bag. This might be enough. If not, I have a whole another bag here. If I can get it open. Oh, there we go. So, I'm going to take this cheese and just sprinkle it all evenly on the top. You don't want to do... What am I saying? I was going to say you don't want to do too much cheese. Who says that? Do as much cheese as you want. More, less, whatever you guys want, whatever your preference is. So I probably am going to do a little bit more. Get this bag open here. Let's see. I couldn't even tell you how much cheese this is that I've used. I don't even want to guesstimate. But there we go. That's pretty good. Nice and even on the top with the cheese and then like I said I have about I don't even know what's left in here it's not a whole lot maybe a quarter cup a third of a cup of these french fried onions so I'm just going to sprinkle these on the top too just so I can get rid of them and who doesn't love these french fried onions they add great flavor plus we just want to get rid of all our leftover Thanksgiving stuff. So, okay. So that's it. It is ready to go in the oven. I'm going to put it in the oven for about 45 minutes. Um, it should get nice and hot all the way through. The cheese is going to get nice and melted and bubbly. And hopefully I can come back and show you guys the end result.